everyone happy monday i have no idea what happened i'm so sorry i lost five minutes of your time um oh i hear sound coming through here um somewhere there's sound <laughs> oh lord everything's going wrong today isn't it um there we go that's where the sound is coming from <laughs> wow so many technical issues i think um i was totally live <laughs> I don't know what happened, uh, but you know, it's a live show, things happen. I'm Mandy Celine, I'm a director and DP, and I run a, a boutique post-production company and production company here in the UK. I wonder where you are in the world. Today we will be talking some sound things. I'm gonna be talking a little faster than I usually would because I've just lost 10 minutes of time and I have a lot I want to show you. Bits of housekeeping, there's a Discord in the description and there's today's challenge um, kind of interface. Basically, it's what I've given you today is the workspace. I'll show you how to get to that in a second. Um, and don't forget to keep watching later for great color tips, social tips. And my friend Valentina's on and I love Valentina. She's so talented, like she's taught me a lot. So I love her. Um, anyway, let's get into Premiere because we are running behind. Thank you for the chat. You're the reason I was like, hey, why is this not working? <laughs> because I, I might like YouTube was telling me I was live. Oh, well, it happens to the best of us. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I already was showing off some stuff. <laughs> um, I already did one of my tips. We're doing some quick tips to begin with that will help with your edit editing. Are you ever like annoyed when you hear a pop sound between your cuts? Um, it's just kind of the worst it, it, you don't like a lot of people don't know why it happens and you basically need to do a little fade to get those sorted i've already done it you can see them here on this timeline um but i'm going to show you how to do it on yours so what you want to do is go to premiere pro settings and timeline right here not audio or anything like that you want to go to timeline um and then you want to change your audio default transition which is usually the crossfade to about two frames um if it's it, it's st standard as 10 but if it's two frames you won't get interrupted by the other sound of the clip and it will remove that pop so there's that and you're like well, well that's just the default how does that affect me well if i get rid of this so you can see the magic all you're going to do then is select whatever audio you want um, i'm just selecting the clip here and you're going to press command shift and d and it's going to just do it and it will do it across every clip you've selected so it saved you like seconds and you've just like added a little polish to your clips, which is really nice. Love that for us. All right, let's see if I can like power this through. Um, something else I wanna show you, as you'll notice if I zoom in, um, you can only like edit frame by frame here. Um, if you hear Premiere, um, sorry, I'll mute the audio just to make things a bit easier for the moment, but you can only edit audio frame by frame. You can't get very precise because of that, but actually you can. Uh, what you need to do is right click onto the timeline and then just go to show audio time units, which is here at the bottom. And then you'll suddenly be able to go, like you can't even see it move. You can go so much and be really precise. And then to change it back, right click again, just turn those off and you're back to frames. Boom, told you we've got a lot to cover. And then the last thing I'm just gonna zoom out here, is um, we're gonna now dip into the Essential Sounds panel, which is great, because we have a lot to talk about. Um, and I'm just gonna select all the dialogue here. This is um, my dear friend, Maddie, who I get to film and create some amazing kids content with her. Uh, we're in a paint factory in this one, making a blooper reel. Uh, you can click auto tag, but today, just for ease, I'm just gonna click dialogue. And then all we're gonna do is click auto match. And what this is gonna do, oh, it's already done it, I think, you can't even, <laughs> Uh, no, yep, yeah, it's done it. It's done it already. It was so fast. Is it's now going to level off the audio so it roughly all sounds the same. Again, that took seconds just to make things good. Um, how's everyone doing? <laughs> I'm like still like, oh my god, oh my god, it wasn't working. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but yeah, that's like a quick thing to like quickly level your audio and for it to all sound the same. So those are my quick tips. Have we caught up on time? We nearly have. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> I just want to make sure we get everything there. So my favorite thing now that we're in the speech, this is my favorite feature. Actually, the next this feature and the next feature are the two favorite things Adobe has put into the software. Like in forever. Um, 
And it's this enhanced speech thing. When the last time I think I taught this on an Adobe Live, it was still in beta. So it is relatively new. Um, all we're gonna do is click enhance over here and you can see it all working and having a little moment. You know, there's a lot happening in the queue. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And honestly, the faster your internet, the faster it works. A lot of these AI features run by Adobe Sensei, um, they all do rely on internet to an extent. I found out that recently. <laughs> Sorry, I just need a comment while we're waiting for this to do. Some people work better under pressure. Sometimes I'm one of them. Am I today? <laughs> We'll find out, um, but it's already done it. And I'm going to unmute this so like you can hear the difference here. We should do two shots. I don't agree with that. Oh, <laughs> the, you know what? I, w I didn't want to do it on this clip. I wanted to do it on this sequence. <laughs> We're doing so well. Um, so this is the before. In fact, it takes about three days for all of the ingredients. So actually this, we were filming at a glass factory, still Maddie, cause she's amazing. Click dialogue, click enhance speech. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. Um, and it's gonna make this usable basically so that we can hear her. Ingredients to slowly make and melt their way through the furnace. Now it is way too hot for us to go inside. Like how much better does that sound? Let's remember what that sounded like with Long it off. Melting process. In fact, it takes about and now we can hear her what i love is keeping it around seven you can put this all the way to 10 and you can see how much it takes away now and melt their way through the furnace now it is way too hot for us to go inside but we can have a little peek it takes away all of the sound this feature always blows my mind now for me i will say i keep this on i would say a seven because i like some, you know, she's filming in a factory. We're in situation. You want to hear some of that ambience. It's not a podcast. Um, so there's that. Another great example I always use is this one because there's an alarm. Most of the work is done. And we're just going to do that very quickly again. Dun, 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 dun. It's going well. <laughs> and it's done it and... By this tiny so the alarm is still there. When the wheel moves but if I pull this up, of the glass, it creates a score line, which means that so it gets rid of it completely. Now, again, we did have a debate whether or not we use the audio without the alarm sound. But then we were like, you're in a factory. The factory's got to sound like a factory. Um, uh, and it is what it is. This you, again, you know, the alarm was because glass was being made. So like you want to make your viewers feel like you're involved in that. So um, I think that's incredible. Like that always blows my mind because these are two very difficult situations to pick out that audio. Here, but even though the machine and let's get that back to most of the work is done by this tiny little wheel. And without it, when the wheel moves over the surface of the glass. It creates a score line. Just amazing. And she's lab mic'd up. So like we did everything we could to mitigate whatever we could. So. Thank you, Maddie, so much for letting me use those clips. She always lets me use those clips because she was blown about this feature when I showed it to her. She was like, oh my goodness. Next, we're going to dip into one of my favorite tools. Um, you know what, though? I am going to switch the enhance off on these. Um, but I'm going to dip into one of my favorite, favorite tools. And it's the remix feature. So when we made this little blooper reel, it sounded a bit like this. It's only 30 seconds long. Shh, quiet on set ready for someone's eager paying every 10 days. Beep. 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 Up to us. Did we just call it the beeper roll? No. I don't know what to do. Plaggles? Paint. So I think we should do two shots. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love Maddie. She's got a good sense of humor about these things. Um, but yeah, I you can see that there's a piece of music here that's been cut down already and it's got these zigzaggy lines. That, my friends, is the remix tool and I'm going to show you how it works live. So firstly, if you go, it's hidden here. I kind of wish it was, you can make your own shortcuts, but I wish this was its own button personally, just so that I can click it quickly because sometimes I just like to see it. And all you're going to do is firstly, we're going to tag it music 
and we're gonna tell it its background music. Now, the reason for that is if you do that afterwards, sometimes it resets the remix. Um, I don't know why. Uh, and then all you're gonna do is drag it as if like you were shortening a clip. It's gonna analyze down here. Oh, and it's already done it. I feel like that's a bit long. We can get it, there we go. And it's done it. And you can see it's actually remi remixed it differently from how this one was done because the jagged ed edges are where the cuts are and it's changed. So, quiet on set. Hey, ready for someone's eager pain. Every ten days. <laughs> beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Up to a hundred. Can we just call it the beeper roll? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's really interesting is it's actually made the exact same kind of sound it's just taken different sections of the song and made the exact same thing <laughs> i never really thought about that but that is just incredible uh i love that uh feature it saved me a lot of time particularly on corporate videos and stuff so i'm not like some things I don't have to like, oh, I have to completely re-edit this song from scratch. That's great. Um, so that's been quite nice. But like, thanks, Maddie. Beep, beep. Um, we're going to, the last thing we're going to focus on today is the audio track mixer. We've only got about five minutes to do that. So I will be doing that. Um, just giving a quick comments a read. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Separate video sound recording. It's open to camera recording. And you'd see that. Um, there is some really great tutorials by Valentina V. Actually, there's the master one if there's a couple of leftover questions. Also, Premier Gal has some great tutorials on YouTube. If I do not cover it today, um, just I, I was we had streaming issues. We ran out of time. <laughs> but yes, we're going to head over to this panel here. Now, a lot of people get really worried about this panel i said well maybe not worried i'm going to demystify it to you because like that that's intimidating i totally get that the thing we're going to focus on believe it or not is just this last thing here so this all these all these um I, they're tracks but all of these um like little bars separate units whatever you want to call them um they relate to your track on the audio. So this one here, it will say it on the bottom as well, audio one, A1, uh, A2, two. Now, the thing I actually recommend is making sure when you edit, and I've done it here as an example, is you can say audio one is dialogue, so you know what it is. And I would put all your dialogue for, if it's just one person talking or one track, if it's two, give them a track each, because then you can actually go in here and like, change things universally if you have to like the volume or certain effects and all sorts so here i've got dialogue i have sound effects and then i've got two music tracks because i was showing you remix and then this last one is mix and all mix is is all of them together and i like this track a lot because this is where i can like finish off the whole video and like as a whole so there's two things i always do one of them is i go into special and mastering so what is mastering? Mastering is kind of um, giving depth and clarity. Um, it's not gonna do effects, that's gonna be in the effects controls or the, the, or the essential sound panel. It's not gonna do that. It's just giving a little bit of mm, finishing it, mastering it. Uh, you wanna double click it and you're gonna be given a whole list of like presets essentially. Um, the one I will say I nearly always use, honestly, like some of these are like, if you want to be in a dream sequence, it's going to make the, if I lift this up here, oh, no, I didn't want to make it taller. Um, it's going to make it sound like more dreamlike. I'm going to mute this so you can hear the sound as opposed to like something else. Um, you can like change things to sound like a concert hall or like bright height they have all these different things that they do the thing we're going to focus on is subtle clarity now subtle clarity comes with a high reverb and you don't need it so what it subtle clarity does is it's just trying to pick out the vocals from the music and try and make them sound like just raise them a little bit above the music just a little just a little bit so the beeper roll so that's a high nice. reverb i would switch that either off completely or on two if you want to reverb kind of makes uh 
it's like it's not an echo echo is wrong you know when you're in an empty room and you hear your voice bounce off it's kind of get adding more bounce to the voice as it were um you can have it at two and it'll make it sound less studio like as well if you've really whacked up that essential sounds panel and what it does is it just kind of brings it up against the music a bit more <laughs> it's very subtle you might not be able to tell in live but i highly recommend that and then the other thing I would do, which I've got like two minutes to show you, um, if I can get rid of this panel, um, close window. Um, oh, don't send. Oh, <laughs> Premiere has only ever crashed on me on a live. Fun fact. <laughs> Reopen, please. <laughs> that is so typical um, and I'm just going to reshape this so you can see my thing it's gone right back to when I was editing something earlier that's beautiful, love that for us um, <laughs> it's one of those days isn't it you just gotta laugh uh, we're going to get that back to the audio panel um, so I can see my track mixer um, and the last thing I would do is I would literally just go to uh, like this, this section, amplitude and compression and hard limiter. Um, and this is because I like to bring up the sound in total and I tend to go to minus six because you want your audio around the minus six mark anyway when it's finished um, so that it's loud and not too quiet for online. I know when you upload to things like YouTube, it does recompress it down to minus 14, but it means like it's not quiet and then making it quieter. And the reason YouTube compresses your audio is so that you have a more enjoyable experience because in theory, it's like leveling off all the audio everywhere. Um, so yeah, I just do that. It's super quick and easy. Uh, close window, please don't crash. There we go. <laughs> um, it's gonna, you know what? I think it's because my iPad's connected to my computer. I'm using it for notes, but anyway, I think we worked through everything today. That's a miracle. <laughs> Let's get back to the main camera and do some housekeeping. What did we learn today? <laughs> <laughs> that, that that Mandy can talk really fast when she has to uh, and apparently speak in third person but we did some quick tips we learned how to very quickly fade our audios we uh, learned how to change things to audio units for much tighter cutting we learned how to use the auto match feature to make all your dialogue sound about roughly the same amount of loudness um, and I think I'm being cut off. So um, don't forget to check out the Discord, keep up with the Adobe live streams, and I will see you later. All right, guys, peace. <laughs> I hope the next stream doesn't have as much going on as I did. <laughs>